is up. They're sprinting away from the 1200 meter mark and Pyromaniacs in the second line as they go to raise. And Bard of Avon, one of the first to go. Ambiorex is on the right-hand side in the blue silks. Is Evungu Vungu towards the left in the yellow? Gallic Chief is right there. The grey is Silver Salmon. Good Traveller is stone last at this stage. And Gimme a Princess toward the right-hand side, also the yellow cab. So on the left, Gallic Chief just about the leader. Ambiorex is there in the blue. And Bard of Avon, also well placed. Is Ivungu Vungu, then comes It's About Time, almost towards the outside, then Ifan's Boy. At this stage, Pyromaniac still got four or five to go. Captain Lannister's on the inside with safe return. Good travel and Gimme a Prince, they've come towards the extreme outside to put in their claim. Pyromaniac still got about four lengths to make up. Outside the 200, Ambiorex, Bard of Avon, Is Ivungu Vungu, Good Traveler, Gallic Chief, but Ambiorex still leads it at the 200. Gallic Chief, Is Vungu Vungu and Bard of Avon. It's Ambiorex hanging tough. Bard of Avon, but Ambiorex has won it. Bard of Avon second. Gallic Chief third. And we'll go back for fourth. There's four or five lining up for that fourth spot. Number 12 is the winner. And it's Ambiorex and Luke Ferraris. And they win it for Vaughan Marshall, the Virgin Jetterix. And this for the Burns Racing nominee, Mr. David Allen. And they win it well. Luke Ferraris, a length and a quarter. Second, Bard of Avon. Third to Gallic Chief. That's number three. That fourth spot, Captain Lannister. Probably just will get that fourth spot. Uh, nearest us, Good Traveller. Gimme a Prince is on the inside. Is it Vungu Vungu? Irfan's boy. Silver Salmon. And it's about time. But the winner showed pace from the word go in the blue silks and continues to run here is number 12, Ambio Rex, who pays 620 and 230. And they continue to go. A very nice run from number 8, Bard of Avon. And towards the inside, is it Vungu Vungu and Gallic Chief? But the victory goes to number 12, Ambio Rex, and that is the winner. And that wins the gold medallion, grade one, until race seven. Back to the studio. The gold medallion grade one has gone to Ambiorex. He's come through to win and he's taken home the grade one year. And well done to all concerned. Peter is the winning groom. He gets his thousand rand, the groom's initiative, Hollywood bets and gold circle. Well done. Let's get the winning pilot in, Luke Ferraris. None other than Luke Ferraris in those light blue with the dark blue stars. Now, Luke, you went to Cape Town to partner this individual on debut in finding good support. So a horse from day one who's had that ability. Thanks. So, yeah, um, all credit to Mr. Marshall. Uh, that first win in Cape Town, he, he phoned me up and said he's got, he's got a real smart, uh, a really smart uh, first time and he'd like me to ride it. And, and it started there. And, uh, yeah, he's, as you can see, he's a very nice horse and, uh, and he's very progressive. So uh, hopefully it's, uh, he carries on winning ways. Now he's a horse who seems to do it quite easily. Yeah, he's, he's, he's funny, he's got a very relaxed running style. He, he pings a machine and, uh, and he's out there rolling and that's how he wants to be. Uh, I think I made the mistake a uh, uh, time before where I, I had him in behind horses and uh, it didn't look like it, it was his run. He, uh, he didn't enjoy it. Uh, um, so today I asked Mr. Marshall if I could ride him the same way as, as when he won his maiden and he said yes and, and yeah, the rest is history. <laughs> These are the days that you wake up for and you do all the hard work for, so when it pays off, well done. 100%. Yeah, as I said, all credit to Mr. Marshall. Why don't you, Mr. and Mrs. Burns, uh, for the support. Thank you very much. Please take your winning memento there for the photographs. And there, Luke Ferraris. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen. Luke Ferraris bringing home Ambiorex number 12. The Versen Jetterex, bred by the Oldland Stud. Trainer Vaughan Marshall is going to come through. We're going to call you Vaughan Marshall, grade one man. Well done. Thank you, Sheldon. Thank you. He's a horse who's obviously shown you high-class potential from day one. Yeah, Sheldon, uh, Sheldon, he's a very decent horse, you know, and uh, he, he's, he's always shown that he's got the ability. Um, we took a gamble in not running him for so long, but it's paid off. He's strengthened up nicely, and uh, I thought he won a very, very good race today.
What I liked about him when he walked into the ring and also into the winner's box, he was licking and chewing, which means they, they like their surroundings, they're enjoying and accepting it, and he did a phenomenal job out there on the track. Yeah, he's got a very, very good temperament, and, you know, he doesn't get above himself, and, yeah, he won a very good race. I'm very pleased with him. But I'd just like to say a special thank you to, to Seamus and to Eileen from Burns Racing. Um, <clears throat> it's a very honor, big honor to have their first Group 1 winner in South Africa. And uh, let's hope we can go on from here. Well, that's glorious, outstanding yeah. stuff. Thank you. And There's your last word. And to David Allen, too, for putting the, the, the whole thing together. He did a masterful job. Thank you. There's your champagne and also your winning memento. Well done. Congratulations to Vaughan Marshall. And he's brought home the goods. That's the winning trainer, the winning owner, the Burns Racing, Mr. David Allen, breeder, the Oldland stud. So well done to all concerned. Ambiorix, number 12, has taken home the gold medallion.